This build is sponsored by wood to works where you can get quality woods for your luthery, turning and carving needs. They ship worldwide and have a great service to help you choose through their great selection. blank for the tone bars and first thing was to reference uh, two sides so I can cut tone bars out of it and what I want to do is have the grain as vertical as possible so that's what I did here I planed the bottom to the proper angle to where I was going to get uh, some 90 degrees and then I planed the side here so when I go on the band so I can cut strips of tone bars that are uh, with that have the grain 90 degrees inside. Uh, the reason why I'm not taking uh, this here, which is another leftover of uh, the soundboard, is because you can see like on the other edge of the, the soundboard, the, the grain uh, was getting wider and wider. Uh, so for tone bars, we need like very, very tight grain and to use something like this, with you can really see like the the, the grains have like some some areas are like 316 scalp so that's that's not suitable for uh, the application here even the soundboard when I made it I, I made sure that the closest grain was going to be in the middle uh, widening on the outside and this is what this was one of the most outer edge of the soundboard itself. got the tone bars ready, uh, the base bar being a bit thicker than the treble bar. I will put the difference in thickness in the drawing package that I, that I will be working on once the instrument is completed. I had a few inquiries as to if I was going to do the same as the octave mandolin and uh, make prints available. So that's, that is my intention. So if you're interested, you can drop me a line in my uh, email and the links are all in the description and then I'll add you to the list of people. Uh, I had an inquiry in my last Q&A. St. Patrick's was asking if I could make uh, audible tap tones uh, throughout the build so we can see the difference uh, like without the tone bars, with the tone bars, with the tone bars tune, with the Verzi to, to see like if we can hear a, a difference. So once again, I don't have one of those like very high tech mic. I'm just using the one from the camera but uh, I'll just tap the soundboard and you can hear right now and I'll do that throughout the build as well. So as you can see right now, it's very responsive. I'm really happy how it sounds. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is just uh, measure the length that I need and trace down uh, the pattern and shape it and then get ready to do the glue up for those. back to the Virzi that I did uh, in the previous video, I already started talking about it in the uh, Q&A 7.5 that I was going to work on that. So Virzi, there's not a lot of information about it. Um, so the information I was able to gather is that Virzi is usually around 12 to 17 percent 
uh, of the weight of the soundboard. So if you remember, I, I did weigh my soundboard to 278 grams uh, before I glued it up onto the rim. Um, and then this one runs at 37 grams uh, uh, with all like the, the other pedestal as well. So all of those together, that's 37 grams. So I'm within that realm. Uh, one thing I wanted to make sure was to have a good tonality uh, on it and also uh, the flexibility of the plate. Uh, as you can see right now, I'm using one of the cutout, cut, cutouts because I, I don't want to flex this one too much because uh, it, it got uh, pretty thin. I'm sitting at uh, uh, 0 0.0991, so it's basically 100 thousand yeah so uh, so that's the, the thickness of this one uh, I do have a good vibration I will try to see if I can tune it with the the strobo soft strop tuner uh, that would be like tuning those ones here but as for weight right now I'm I'm pretty happy on how it stands I'm happy with the, the tone I get I'm also happy I was able to use that torrified Sitka spruce to make this because I did get another piece of wood at Bow River Wood to Works when, when I went and got all the wood to do the Verzi. Uh, but when I looked at my leftover, I figured like might as well use uh, the leftovers for this purpose instead of using another piece that's not been aged. So uh, I think the sound's going to be a lot better with this. I get, it already has a very nice response and sustain and it's very light. Uh, something that needs to be... Uh, uh, notice is uh, the grain direction. So if if you go back to uh, the beginning of this video when I, I actually mentioned uh, the actual grain direction like vertical into those uh, brace that I just made, like the not brace but tone bars that I just made, uh, it adds stiffness from the back, it holds the bridge so you, you want to have all that stiffness and we're going to remove the uh, extra stiffness uh, at a later stage but as for the pedestal, uh, and I don't know if you can see the, the grain right now, but um, the pedestal is only to hold this piece up. So you don't want to add extra stiffness to the actual soundboard, so that's why you're going to have the grain running in this direction. So I'll, I'll, for this purpose as well, I was able to use a torrified spruce, so I was pretty happy to be able to do that. And like, there's a little flex here already onto the, the pedestal so I don't I don't want to put too much strength uh, strain on it and the same here at the front it's got the same grain direction so in regards to the glue up I already have my treble and my bass bar that have been fitted to the underside of the soundboard um, this is gonna go in after so I did make some little notch and that you can see right here to allow me to do that after because uh, I want to be able to shape those two tone bars and tune them uh, before I even put that in. So this is going to go in at a later stage. And uh, I did make some tests and it does fit without moving the tone bars when, once they're glued. Um, so this is going to sit right here and it's already been fitted. Uh, if you remember from the previous video, it, it conforms to the bottom here. So before I do that, I want to have uh, I want to measure uh, the tone of my soundboard. So I'll get on the stroke tuner. So I've got uh, a B third octave and zero cents at the concert pitch of 440. That's at 432. So this is my go bar press. Uh, so I have the body of the instrument here sitting on uh, bench cookies, so it's stable and it won't slip around. I've got my <clears throat> two tone bars installed inside without any glue because I wanted to check again with my little feeler gauge to make sure that there was no gap anywhere. And then, uh, so I've got four of them already in. As you can see, so I've got like those little pieces of wood where I'm going to move my uh, 
my bars and uh, they, the, here I, I've tapered the ends the the reason for that it's become more flexible in the ends so I'll be able to get the center all the way down and, and I made sure that uh, with my feeler gauge I made sure there was no gap but at the same time once I, I put extra bars in here after the glue is applied and that those two are back on it I'll be able to add more pressure and that way with the tapers here uh, I'll make sure that uh, it, it's gonna allow it to flex and uh, have a proper glue up. So all I have to do now is remove those, move them aside and that's not going to damage the inside of the soundboard because they're sitting onto those little piece of wood and I'm just going to apply some glue on the back side here. For those of you interested in seeing how to tune the tone bars, I will put a link to a previous video I made especially on that subject. But uh, for, for now, like what I'll do is just do those ones, tune them and then come back to you guys with the installation of the Versi. I just finished tuning the top and uh, we'll check the responsiveness. So we can really hear this one and I'll get closer so you guys can hear the Virzi as well. So this is the sound with the tone bars tuned. Now we're going to glue the Virzi in and I'll do another tap tone and put them all together at the end of this video. What I'm doing here is uh, sanding a bit of the edges to uh, maximize the vibration. Like we already had a weight and it was already like 13 plus percent of the mass of the soundboard itself. Uh, and that's without the tone bars that I, or, the, or with the rim that I, I did the weight. And the reason for that is because uh, after I had the glue up done, I did a, a post online uh, on social media and there's a fellow that experimented uh, with Verzi's before and like I mentioned in the video there's not a lot of information with in regards to Verzi's and what he said was like even though my weight is uh, good and he thinks that uh, it should it should uh, perform properly he was saying that you can add more 
response by thinning the edges to allow more flex in the plate and maybe this section here as well in between. So I'm not gonna try to, to go too thin because I don't want it to break obviously when it's in there. But um, what I wanna do is uh, just shave a bit more on the edges to give it more flex and more response. So this is it for this video on the Verzi. I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of questions, so therefore leave your questions in the comments below and I will make a Q&A about the Verzi. And I want to keep this video very short for the people that just want to see it. I will also put the, the tone of the bars on the drawing package that we'll be providing once this build is done. Uh, so if once again, if you're interested in uh, being put on the list of people interested in the drawings, I've started uh, accumulating names and emails that I can get back to you when they're ready. Just send me an email in the description. I left my contact information and then uh, just say, say that you want to be added to the list. So now that the rim is all sanded down and that uh, the inner components of the soundboards are all in, uh, we'll be ready to put the neck in first and then the backboard after to close up the whole instrument so uh, that's what's going to be coming up i'm still waiting for parts uh, regarding the neck hopefully they're coming shortly check out bow river wood to works if you're looking for great quality woods to build your instrument with they ship worldwide there you have their address right here at the bottom of the screen also check me on my facebook and my instagram i also have patreon and all the links are in the description below once again, thanks for stopping by and watching. I really appreciate your time and I'll tell you next time. I wish you well.